Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, where today I'm going to be doing some photography with the Canon R7 and the 70-200 2.8, which is uh, sometimes all you need here. It's 320 millimeters full-frame equivalent on the APS-C R7, and let's see what I can get. My first photo of the day was of this black and yellow macaw, or maybe it's a blue-throated macaw. I'm not sure. It's definitely a macaw. This is part of the Winged Encounters bird show. This is a 200 millimeter shot with the 70 to 200 2.8, which I used for all the photos in this video. It's 1 250th of a second wide open at 2.8 and ISO 100. And I thought it turned out really beautiful. Look at the bokeh background. We are on a Kilimanjaro Safaris truck. I might take a couple pictures on here, many though. This is an okapi, which is a beautiful animal that you see always off to the right of your safari truck in the early part of the safari. During the safari, I bumped my shutter speed up quite a bit to 1 1,000th because you're bouncing along on that bumpy road. I really wish they would smooth the road out that the truck travels on as you go through the safari. But I like this shot. It's at its feeding station relatively early in the morning, 163 millimeters, 1 1,000th, wide open, 2.8. Later on the safari, there was giraffes as you almost always see giraffes on the safari ride and i wasn't able to get any good full body shots of the giraffes that were um, artistically pleasing but i did like this head shot also at 1 1000th f 2.8 200 millimeters and my final shot of the on the safari i didn't really make a whole lot of shots on the safari i wanted to concentrate today mostly on the bird aviaries but i had to get a photograph of the male lion as it was walking this is another 200 millimeter shot, also at 1 1,000th and 2.8. I always like to stop here at Flame Tree Barbecue. Part of the dining area has this pond, and it usually has ibis and other wading birds that you can get really up close pictures of because they're fairly tame because occasionally they get into people's food here. I don't feed them, but I do photograph them. There were several white ibis in the dining area of the Flame Tree Barbecue restaurant. We always go to this pond and here's a 75 millimeter shot of a slightly sub-adult white ibis. I'm still at 1 1,000th f 2.8 and ISO 200. Here's another one. This, the pond has a waterfall at the end of it, and they were standing at the top of the waterfall. And this is a 70 millimeter shot on the 70 to 200, wide open at 2.8. Just beautiful. I love those blue eyes. And here is another one, another 70 millimeter shot, still wide open at 2.8. These are my favorite white ibis photographs of our entire trip. And we went to a wildlife refuge, but the best ones are here at the Flame Tree Barbecue Restaurant. And one final shot of a white ibis there at Flame Tree Barbecue. I just love these birds. These are wild birds, but they're tame because they're used to being around people because they hang around at the Animal Kingdom theme park. I'm here now at the Maharaja Trek Bird Aviary. This is probably my favorite part of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Let's get some pictures of some birds. This is a pair of pink-eared ducks who were posing in such a way that I could get a juxtaposition shot of them that I, that I really liked. And they're trying to sleep, but every once in a while, the one in the foreground would open its eye, and I managed to get a shot of it with its eye open. I accidentally bumped my aperture to f3.2, and a lot of these photos from the Maharaja Jungle Trek are at 3.2, but I would have preferred to have shot at 2.8. But fortunately, the Maharaja Jungle Trek has more light than does the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail, where I was at 2.8. This is the Great Argus there at the Maharaja Jungle Trek Bird Aviary, uh, 3.2, 1 320th of a second, 1600 ISO beautiful bird and we like to call it the woo woo bird because every once in a while it will go woo woo this is a victoria crowned pigeon and we see these every time we go to the maharaja jungle trek but on this particular day it was nest building so it was all over the place usually they kind of hang around on the edges of the aviary but it was all over the place and i got it with this branch in its mouth right on the walking path at 124 millimeters Here's a blue crowned laughing thrush that I photographed at 153 millimeters, 3.2 and 1 125th of a second. Just a beautiful bird. I love those red eyes. And I caught several photographs of these, but this is the only one that I liked enough to share. This is a green imperial pigeon, which I believe is the first time I've ever photographed one of these 
on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Just beautiful. I love the orange feathers on the back of its head or its upper neck. And this is a 104 millimeter shot. This fancy looking bird is a nickel bar pigeon. I love all the colors and the beautiful feathers that it has coming off of the sides of its neck or the base of its head. Just a beautiful bird. 153 millimeter shot. Here's a metallic starling. I photograph these every year at the Maharajal Jungle Trek. A 119 millimeter shot. I love the subtle colors. When you look at this bird in person, it looks almost completely black. You can barely see the colors, but I was able to pull them out a little bit, and I love those amazing red eyes. This is a golden crested mina bird. Beautiful bird, and I caught it in the bird bath. They have a, a fountain that doubles as a bird bath, and he was really kicking up some water as he bathed. This is a one five hundredth of a second shot, 200 millimeters. And this is at the top of that same fountain. They have some cleverly placed branches to give the birds perches. And I got this golden crested minor bird atop that. And it has a beautifully bokefied background. I really like this shot. Here's a beautiful bird. It's a chestnut backed thrush, which I really enjoyed photographing. I love all the colors of this bird. This is a 200 millimeter shot. Another photograph at 163 millimeters of the metallic starling with its amazing red eyes. This is a bird I don't recall ever photographing before on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. This is a collared finch bill, and I just love the beautiful olive colors and then the black and white stripes on the sides of its head. Just a beautiful bird, and it was eating leaves quite a bit. A lot of the time when I would see it, it had leaves in its mouth. This is a 200 millimeter shot at 1 500th. Here's another shot of that same bird, but in a different location. And here it does have a leaf in its mouth. It's, it's got some nice backlight on it, which I really like, but there's also light, dappled light coming through in the foreground of this bird. I really like the way this photograph turned out of the collared finch bill. Here's another photograph of a golden crested minor bird, once again, perched atop the fountain. This little cutie is a Pacific Emerald Dove that I caught at 135 millimeters there on the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Here's another photograph of the chestnut back thrush. This was in a different location there, the Maharaja Jungle Trek. There's a lot of room for the birds to fly around in these areas, and there's lots of foliage for them to perch on. It's just a beautiful aviary. And now we're here at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail, which also has a bird aviary. The first bird I was able to get a photograph of and the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail bird aviary is this great billed Turaco. Just a beautiful bird, really a large bird, and it's high up in a tree in the bird aviary there, but it's still several feet from the top. So there's lots of room for these birds to move around in these amazing aviaries there at the Animal Kingdom theme park. Here's a Chorister Robin Chat that I photographed there on the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. 200 millimeters, only 1 80th of a second, wide open at 2.8. It's much darker and more difficult to get your shots at Gorilla Falls than it is at the Maharaja Jungle Trek. But I wouldn't describe either of them as easy. Here's a beautiful Emerald Starling that I photographed also at 1 80th of a second, wide open at 2.8, and I still needed 3200 ISO to get this shot. Here's a white-headed buffalo weaver. I've featured these on the thumbnail of an Animal Kingdom photography video in the past. Beautiful bird, still at 1 80th of a second, 200 millimeters ISO 1250, and wide open at 2.8. It kind of started off a little bit slow at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail Aviary, but then I met a young man who works here called Johnny, and he helped me find lots of the birds that I photographed. Not all of them, but quite a few, and he was fun to talk to and knew a lot about the species here at the Gorilla Falls Aviary. This is one of my favorite birds in all of the Disney Animal Kingdom theme park. This is a red and yellow barbet, and I'd love to get photographs of these. One 125th of a second, wide open at 2.8, 200 millimeters. This is a bird I've never photographed before on the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. This is a golden-breasted starling. Johnny called it the Mardi Gras bird because of its color choices. This is a 200 millimeter shot at one 125th of a second. Wide open at 2.8 and 2,500 ISO. This little duck is called a marble duck. It's much smaller than a mallard that you might see commonly. And I've never photographed it out of the water before. There's a, a large water area in this bird aviary. And that's where I almost always photograph these. But this time it was walking around on the footpath. 
and I got this 104 millimeter shot. I had my camera actually scraping across the ground as I followed it and made this shot. Here's a 128 millimeter shot of the white-headed buffalo weaver there on the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. I believe this is a greenwood hoopy, which I don't think I've ever photographed before. And this is a 153 millimeter shot. Look at the colors, just beautiful. And I like the spots on its long tail. Here's a golden weaver at 200 millimeters. These birds are very small and you see them quite a bit on the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. But this year they didn't have nearly as many as they often do. Here's another shot of my favorite bird there, the red and yellow barbet. And in this image, you can see all the spots on its back and the black spots on its head. It's just an amazing looking bird, 200 millimeter shot. They always have a couple of these African pygmy geese on hand there at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. And I made this 182 millimeter shot of it. You can't hardly tell, but it is in water right there, just really shallow water and very, very clear. This is a black crake that Johnny pointed out to me. Got this 200 millimeter shot of it. I believe this is the first time I've ever photographed one of these there at the Gorilla Falls Expedition Trail. So thanks to Johnny for pointing out this beautiful bird to me. Here's another more up close shot of a golden weaver, close enough to catch the detail in its eye in this particular shot at 200 millimeters. I've got a little motion blur problem around the eye on this bird. This was in a really dark area. I probably should have gone a little bit higher on my shutter speed because I'm only at 400 ISO on this shot, but this is a bird I've never photographed before and it's a bulbul, B-U-L-B-U-L, and Johnny pointed this one out to me as well. This is a wild squirrel that was on hand at the Animal Kingdom theme park near a stroller parking area at a restaurant. And I think it might be a just a regular gray squirrel that we see on the eastern United States, but I think it's lutistic. So uh, I don't think I've ever seen in person. I've seen pictures of albino squirrels. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's not a lutistic squirrel. Maybe it's a species that, and this is the normal colors for it. But I made a couple of shots of it, 200 millimeter shots. This one, I was pretty far away and I got a little closer for this one. What do you think it is? Is it a lotistic regular squirrel or is it some other species? All the other parks, which we've been to earlier this week, have had their Christmas trees down. Our last park was Animal Kingdom, which we're leaving now on January the 11th, and their tree is still up. Thanks for joining me from Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park with the Canon R7 and the 70-200 f2.8. Bye-bye.